Yeah. Hello, beautiful people. You're welcome to Rock That Fashion TV. And today we'll be learning how to cut a shirt for both male and female. So sit back, relax, grab a popcorn, a pen and a paper, and jot things down. So basically, the pattern of cutting a male and a female shirt is the same. For my savage line, I'll draw an horizontal line using my 90 degrees ruler. From that line marked out, I will mark one inch down, which will serve as a hemming allowance for the shirt. The length of the shirt is 30 inches, and I will take a 1.5 from the length. Don't worry, the back part will complement the total length of the shirt. So I mark the same thing on the other side, just to have a straight line. So take note, you take out 1.5 inches from the total length of the shirt. That's what you use for the front part. From the salvage line, I'll mark 2.5 inches. 2 inches will be for the folding, while the half inch will be for the overlapping. And after marking out, I join my points with a straight line. The neck of our client is 17, the round neck. Divide on the round neck three times. If you're not comfortable with this, I'll drop a link in the description box so you go check out our video on how to cut the senator for both male and female. So whatever you get after dividing your neck three times, you mark as your neck width and add half an inch to the results and that will serve as our neck depth. We draw an arc. Now we we'll take measurement of the neck width. That will serve as so as our shoulder slant. Our shoulder is 18. We we'll divide it by two, which is nine, and add 0.25 as our sewing allowance. Watch how I pivoted my shoulder. And after that, you draw a straight line, as seen on the video. Point we got on our shoulder slant, we'll bring it down, just to have a straight line. Our chest is 42, 42 divided by 4 will give us 10.5. Now watch high. I removed 1.5 from the armhole before marking my 10.5. Don't worry, the back part will complement that 10.5. So I mark that same 10.5, my chest measurement, and I added my allowance to it. Take that same measurement to the hip line. 
as seen in the video. We divide the arm one into two and come in by 0 0.75. That will be our front panel arm hole. And afterwards, I will use my arm hole curve to connect the marked out points together. As you can see, the front armhole and the back armhole aren't the same so take note of that right after that I'll just go and and connect my chest line to my hip line At the side of the shirt, I will come up by 2 inches, it's totally optional. Let me just come up by 2.5 inches. I just want the side to just look a little bit stylish. If the video has been helpful, please like, share and kindly subscribe so you get notified whenever I upload new videos. After giving my notches, I'll use my iron to make a crease line from that 2.5 inches line we marked at the front. The two, remember the 2 inches will serve as a button hole and also the, the button stand while the half inch will serve as the overlap take note of this
after placing the front panel to cut the back panel now the back panel is higher than the front panel by four inches so mark out the lines as seen in the video We go ahead and cut the back panel using the front panel as a guide. Now if you notice I didn't cut the side parts of the back panel. I'll come to that later on. Now the front panel. I'll mark half inch which is a sewing allowance and watch closely how I place the, the back panel on that half inch sewing allowance and I'll trim the armhole I just notched the back panel so we take um in front panel neck width that will be our back panel neck depth take note of this you go ahead and cut now over to the side part of the shirt the back panel will be 0 0.25 more than the front panel you see the reason for that when we start sewing so take note the side panel of the front is smaller by 0 0.25 Take note of this. And after that, I'll go ahead and cut my neckline and also my armhole. So after cutting, watch how I'll measure my arm hole. So on this I'm having approximately 10.5. Now so take note of the 10.5 you measured around the arm hole. We'll use it for the sleeve. So your ten point five plus one point five. Take note of this. Whatever you measure around the armhole, you add one point five to it. So in this case it's giving me twelve inches. I'll go ahead and mark, rule my horizontal line 
and come down by 4.5 and from my folded edge I'll mark out the 12 inches and divide the 12 inches into four equal parts as shown in the video On the down part I'll mark half inch, on the middle part 0.75 and on the top part I'll mark 0.5 inch. So the middle line or the middle part is 0.75. Then use your ammo curve. To mark out the lines now our shoulder is 18 we divide it by 2 we get 9 I removed half inch for my sewing allowance and as you can see I place my tape on 8.5 so the half inch which will make it 9 is my sewing allowance I hope it makes sense now watch closely my last sleeve is 16 divided by 2 8 then plus half inch sewing allowance and down as you can see I marked half inch down on the armhole curve and I use my pant curve to smoothen the line now watch closely how I'll cut this please don't make a mistake while cutting you cut the back part first watch closely please now the hemline I'll fold it just as seen in the video the reason for this is so that when we are folding our the sleeve we won't have shortage of fabric you know notch I take my notches seriously we open it up and trim off the part we are trimming off will be the front side of the sleeve and I also notch so here you have it our sleeve is ready then go over to make our yoke a shirt yoke it's pretty easy After creating a crease line with my iron, I go ahead and place the back panel just to cut out a, pat a pattern of the back panel.
Now for the yolk from the shoulder. You go down by seven inches, at most seven point five inches. And here you have it. That's all for the shirt. Again, if you find this video useful, please like, share, comment whatever project you want us to work on feel free to comment and kindly subscribe i really appreciate that